Do you want to know the business that I absolutely would uh, would get in with somebody if uh, if we found the right person to do it is Airbnb party houses. So the whole idea of Airbnb is people rent out their homes, but what does everybody want? They want the like family coming on vacation. That's going to take good care of it. Like don't have any parties. It's usually written in the Airbnb, uh, you know, description, like everyone wants the uh, really boring use of their property. But what is everyone who's renting trying to do? Right. I know a ton of people who are like, damn, we're going to throw uh, a party. And it doesn't have to be like, you know, kegs and and uh, kind of like a frat style party, but it could just be a, a wedding reception. It could be some sort of a baby shower or, you know, whatever. But they want to actually that, have yeah. the party at a nice house. And so if you could find a bunch of them who said, yeah, sure. Like as long as you guys come here and clean up afterwards and there's insurance and, you know, kind of all the downside risks it's taken care of, like, actually, I want people to throw parties here. I've got a great backyard for barbecues or, or whatever. To me, that feels like a huge opportunity that, you know, goes directly against what most people on an Airbnb want to do with their home. Yeah, that's such a good point, actually. Um, I wonder if that exists. Yeah, we, one of our Airbnbs, <laughs> we, um, it was in Austin, Texas. So this is like on brand, but basically um, our Airbnb manager was telling us that uh, he saw like 20 people come in to the Airbnb, but they were all bringing yoga mats, but it was like nine o'clock at night. So it was like, what are these people doing in the house? Cause we have an outdoor camera there. Um, and it's a, it's a nice house. And, uh, and basically, and then they moved all the furniture around and we have a sound audible, um, you know, measure in each of the Airbnbs we have to make sure somebody doesn't throw a giant party. But essentially what I think they were doing is they were totally having like a psychedelic journey or whatever in our house. They like left us this ridiculous crystal at the end of it. It was like so Austin, <laughs> but um, I'm sure there were a lot of flapper and hats, you know, and whatever feathers. But, um, but the moral of the story, what we found out later from the guy is like, yeah, we charge like, you know, $5,000 a person to, to throw these. So if I was only charging 1500 bucks a night and I, you know, had your model, I'd be saying, yeah, I want 5k, but have a, have a party, do whatever you want, set up the shaman crystal, don't care. Um, so I like that idea. Oh, I, th I think people would pay bonkers numbers in Miami. One of the big things that actually happened, uh, is I know a couple of folks who they would come for, you know, whether it's Miami tech week or, uh, the Bitcoin conference or whatever. And they were like, man, it was really hard to actually find, uh, an Airbnb, uh, because I, I'm bringing my whole team. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And what they were explaining to me was they were bringing, you know, seven, eight, 10 people from their company that lived all around uh, kind of the country or the world. And so they wanted to rent a full house. Well, to see, or, or you know, to kind of uh, have seven, eight, 10 people live in a house in Miami, you got to get a pretty nice house. Well, it turns out that the people who have those really nice homes on Airbnb, they know that people are looking for these like corporate retreat style uh, destinations. And so a house that is, you know, three, four, five million dollars, they were renting them out for anywhere between 50 to $75,000 a month wow. because the corporates were paying, right? So if you're going to, you know, how much would you pay if you're going to bring 10 people to a city and not only are they going to live there, but that's where you're going to do work or whatever for like a, uh, a two week offsite. Would you pay, I don't know, $35,000 as a company? Like maybe that doesn't yeah. sound as crazy because if you start to do like 10 hotel rooms every night for two weeks, like it gets up there. And so I was fascinated with this idea of basically luxury homes, but they're not renting them to families or, or to individuals. They were renting them for this more like uh, kind of corporate offsite uh, for companies that are distributed in terms of their employee base. I love that. I got to go fire my property manager because we're not getting $35,000 for a weekend. Everybody's fired. Um, <laughs> but uh, I love that idea. I, I also think, you know, I'm really into, I think we're going to talk about this too today, but this idea of, um, how can we get people access to these sorts of investments? Yep. So like, you know, this Airbnb, for instance, we own a few, it's kind of a pain. Like the reason I own the property management company too, is did you pay the guy 20 to 25% for them to manage your, your properties? And that's a lot of the cut after the, you know, whatever, 10% Airbnb takes. And so, um, I wanted to own both, but then it's, you know, it's also expensive. You got to put the money down for the place. It probably costs you three to five K to get it set up, you know, right for Airbnb with cameras and everything you need. 
And, um, and so I was, I've been sniffing, sniffing around a lot, and this is more your lane these days too, about how can we get investment access to these types of deals at cheaper levels? And so I'm messing around. There's this one company called Here.co. I'm early on in due diligence with them, but I like the model. And they basically let you fractionalize Airbnb investments um, so that, you know, somebody can get in with a hundred or a thousand bucks and they've done it in a way where you don't have to be accredited. And so I like, I love the idea, I mean, when I see the returns, we have rental properties, right? Normal ones, somebody rents for a year, whatever, versus Airbnb. I mean, the numbers are astronomically different. We keep both because I think it's important for a market, but Airbnb is so much more profitable if done right. Hey, you, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.